Should we talk about Shang Chi? Let's talk about it. Good, good. So Shang Chi is doing fantastically well, which is always positive. Let's get some numbers up here. So Shang Chi is uh, is into its second weekend now. It's grossed one hundred and sixty six million dollars, which is a record for Labor Day in America d- yeah. domestic. Uh, and I think it's sitting on. Let's have a look. It's sitting on a ninety two percent of Rotten Tomatoes, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm interested to know you. Uh, I'll, we'll do full spoilers as well because I can't be asked to not do that. Uh, so, what did you think of Shang Chi? I loved it. You loved it, and Luke, why did you love it? I just thought it was just so good. It, I, I, that's not really my explanation, but it just everything about it was just awesome. Like, I, I, it's not fresh in my head. Like, I watched it last. I watched it last Friday, and. Um, mm. Just everything about it, man. Which is, uh, I went in a little bit like before the before the critics reviews got released um, a mm. few weeks prior. It was one of those movies where I was a bit like, yeah, I'm obviously going to go and watch it, but I don't really, I'm not too bothered about the movie, or I didn't know much about the character or whatever. And then the critics reviews got released, and I was like, oh shit, like this is getting really good reception. And then yeah, so I was like, okay, as soon as the reviews got released, I booked opening day tickets IMAX Leicester Square and it did not disappoint I thought everything about it was awesome I think from seeing it in IMAX as well I thought it was excellent I thought the action sequences were phenomenal I'd say that fight on the train was probably one of the best action sequences I've seen in a Marvel film um, it's so well choreographed that so sequence, well choreographed it? and yeah. it goes on so it, it's such well, so well paced I was actually mm. when I was watching it I was comparing it um quite similarly to the daredevil hallway fight scene in the first season of daredevil yeah but obviously this is on a different level like this is just on a different level to that but um but yeah i just thought it was awesome it was it was it was really awesome yeah yeah it it was um it, it was really good um i i really enjoyed the choreography the um the performances of the cast, I thought, uh, is his name Simu Lu or something, he, he, who plays Shang Chi. He's fantastic in it. Um, so yeah, I, I I enjoyed everything, and I really like um, it. Actually, built the Marvel Cinematic Universe more. Actually, explored it more compared to like Black Widow, which is a film I'm really uh going off as more and more of a think about because it just kind of does nothing for the mcu this one actually built up the mcu more pushed it on and yeah i I just i just really enjoyed it 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 looked fantastic and i want yeah i want to see more of the character absolutely absolutely and we finally got to meet the the real mandarin yes well he's not really the mandarin no well he's not but he is isn't he because he even says he's like they they call they called me the Mandarin, but like I've gone by many names. But he's never given himself a name, has he? He's a Mandarin. He's the Mandarin. I well, we we can talk about that. It did address Iron Man three this yeah. film, which and it. I'm sorry, gone. I was gonna say, and it brought back our favorite character, mine at least, Trevor Slatery. And yeah, how did you? I know how much you loathe Trevor Slatery. How did you feel about his return? so funny how I can go from absolutely hating him in Iron Man 3 and hating that everything they did with that film to absolutely loving him in this movie. I thought he was fantastic in this. I thought yeah. Ben Kingsley was so good. Yeah. I thought what they did with the character was really good. They, yeah, it was perfect. Essentially, they just, you know, he's um, he's cleaned himself up and said it was the best thing for him. And he's just kind of, he kind of got closure in his life and he's just enjoying his life now, which I thought was really nice for that character. And... I mean, you didn't really need to bring him back, but it kind of writes some of the wrongs that are in the MCU. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Did you find his constant jokes annoying? No, I think they did it just right. They, it was bordering, and what I appreciate, he he's only really in it for five minutes, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and he was when they meet him in the prison and they go to the hidden village, he's telling a lot of jokes, and I thought... This is going to get annoying this, soon. I agree, yeah. Yeah, but then when they got to the village, that was pretty much him done, yeah. wasn't it? And then in, like, the final battle, like, he's not in it at all. And then they do, no, like, no, one he, joke where he's on the floor and, like, that's it. Like, yeah. Yeah, which I think was really well done. I was like, oh, yeah. good. They have they know when to pause. And that was something I thought of um, uh, 
Shang-Chi's friend Katie. I was a bit worried about all her jokes, but as the course of the film goes on, yeah. it, she kind of gets less and less and she gets more serious and yeah. as people do. And well, how did you find the humour in this film? Because I think that's always like a contentious thing in MCU Sorry. films. Because I, I, I was so actually going to say that like, because I, I feel like in a lot of MCU movies, I really feel like they, they always, they push it too far. And like in a moment where a serious tone is needed, I always feel like they always break up with some stupid jokes. But for whatever reason, I feel like it really worked in this film. It really, really worked. Yeah. I thought it was a really funny film, actually. I yeah. thought it was, it was actually one of the funnier MCU films, which yeah. I didn't expect going in. But yeah, it was, and I feel a lot of that comes from them holding back uh, you know, which a lot of the MCU films don't. It's quip after quip, especially yeah. like Iron Man films. It's just constant quipping. And this knew when to pull back and when to pause it. And I think it shows in when they had Trevor Slatery, they didn't just use him for the entire film. They stopped him. They said, right, that's basically enough because it's getting boring now. I always remember in um, in Black Widow, I remember when uh, during Black Widow and um, Florence Pugh is talking to... Um, obviously to Scarlett Johansson and she's saying it's like a really serious scene and she's she's saying about how you know the um you know the red room and whatever blah blah, blah. when they're younger they basically like remove their ovaries so they can't have any kids and yeah. it's like a really dark like really dark scene and then like they literally make a joke out of it within like 10 seconds and you just yeah. think like there needs to be, like it doesn't work like we need to have a little bit of like you know yeah, but I, I feel like this did it perfectly. They, they did it yeah. perfectly. I, I, yeah. yeah, I definitely think it did. Um, also, I did, someone who I thought was fantastic in it was the villain, uh, Wen Wu, so uh, played by Tony, Le, Tony so Lung. So sick. Such a sick character. I thought he was fantastic. Yeah. And I thought he was really good in the role. Uh, and hopefully he gets him more to a Western cinema, if that's what he wants to do. I looked at his filmography. He's basically just always been a Chinese film actor. But I thought... He was really good. He was really menacing, but could also be kind of cool at the same time yeah. and very convincing that maybe he has your best interests at heart. And yeah, I really like that. I, I like I like that character. And like I said, I like they expanded the MCU of him. Yeah. You know, he's been about for thousands of years. Well, about a thousand years he's, he's been knocking about. And yeah, it just expands the MCU, which I always appreciate films like that, like films like Black Widow, I don't like as much because it's just kind of I we we've been here before. Like what what are you doing new? You just introducing more Black Widows, but we always kind of knew all, they were not. All about. Black Widow did was introduce Florence Pugh. That was yeah. the sole purpose of Black Widow: introduce Florence Pugh, and now she's just, in the MCU. Yeah, just give us a new Black Widow. Yeah, literally, literally. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, th- yeah, this this film is is really fantastic, and something I did really like as well is. Uh, the the lead the lead male and the lead female don't end up together in the end and that yeah. I really appreciate they are just friends yeah like uh, when I first when the film first started, I thought well they'll end up together and they didn't in the end and I appreciate that because that's not how life goes sometimes if they yeah. want to get together over a couple of films and let it grow organically then yeah fine do that but yeah I'm just happy at the end of this one they just didn't get together and you were just expecting it weren't you you just i just thought the the last shot was going to be them running over they hug and then they look at each other and it ends up with them kissing and we would have just been like so cringy and unnecessary didn't need that but yeah yeah, it worked really well yeah man. exactly people people are just friends sometimes they can be they can be yes um just one more thing on um i i have i I can't help but just can continuously refer to him as the mandarin but um, just just one just more thing it. on the, one more thing on the Mandarin. Um, I loved his character arc. I love how we go from one moment despising him, just not liking him, to then understanding you know why he's doing this. You know, and it's obviously his love for his wife as to why he's going to these lengths. Do you know what I mean? The whole thing was mm. so. But I just thought it was. I love it when you can sympathise and you understand where the villain's coming from. All best villains in cinema history are from that, and he. And you can you can understand exactly where he's coming yeah, from. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and that, that, that's a problem with a lot of villains in the MCU. They are just bad guys. Like, okay, there's no case. real reason they're bad guys. They are just bad guys, and you understood where he was coming from. I mean, it's not groundbreaking his backstory or what his character is, but at least it makes sense. And 
he plays it well. I mean, that's mostly what helps the character. He's he's excellent as the character, and it makes sense. Um, I always think like uh, Iron Man, the first Iron Man, although that's a fantastic uh, film. The villain, yeah, shit. it doesn't really make sense. Why? Why is he a villain? He's just he's just a bad guy, and he, he you know he he had no reason to be a bad guy. He was just a bad guy. Um, talking of Iron Man though. Where does Shang Chi rate for you in uh, solo Marvel films? I think it's one of the one of the better ones, very high up there. In solo, as films. in like as in like an introduction. Uh, yeah, we can we can rank it by introduction. Yeah, I'm just looking at my DVDs. <laughs> you got Iron Man. You got Captain America, Four, Hulk, uh, Guardians, Ant Man. Captain Marvel. That's about it, isn't it? I think. Spider Man. Spider Man. That's a good one. This is going to be. This is going to be quite controversial. I'd rank it. I put it second to Guardians. Seconds to Guardians, really that high? And then Iron Man is free. Iron Man is free. Yeah, I've yeah, I I can't disagree with that. I'd, I'd say it's definitely around sort of top three, top four. It's it's definitely up there I think um, this film gets into my top 10 MCU movies hands down I, I really... think so as well yeah I, I definitely yeah I definitely think it it does get up there I think they've it, it's really good and I would have thing I don't want to keep bad mouthing Black Widow but I would rather this came first seeing Black Widow Black after, Widow wasn't necessary yeah it wasn't necessary it would have worked in the year 2020 if Covid didn't happen because at least quickly I get Shang-Chi but when this when this when film should have come out two Black years. Widow should have come out straight after Civil War yes definitely it straight would have been a good film to come Civil out Civil War yeah I would have been like that's really cool yeah that's yeah. really cool and yeah it just yeah but Shang-Chi it, I, I'm happy now we're finally so since Endgame we haven't really had a film that's kind of pushed the story on we've had the spider-man film but it was it didn't really do much but now we're finally it feels like we're taking steps past endgame now we've had one division we've had falcon the winter soldier now we've got this now we're finally we're getting there it yeah we're now getting there it feels like it's been a long old slog but here we go they're gonna now we're gonna see where the new stories are going and talking of new stories what did you think of the post credit scene um, oh yeah, very interesting. Mid credits, even mid, mid credits. Yeah, <sighs> very cool. Very cool to see Bruce and um, obviously Captain Marvel. Blah blah blah. But where where is that beacon going to? Where who 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 is getting that signal? Like, well, uh, historically, the ten rings were ten rings that yeah. go around his fingers. Uh, each one gives him a separate power. Yeah. I think the MCU changed it because obviously they've just had the Infinity yeah, Gauntlet and can't it's, do that. it's basically the same thing. So it was just like big bracelets that just make you strong. Works but, really uh, well. Historically, though. it's alien technology. It's from aliens. So maybe they're coming back and they want to fight, basically. Galactus. A big Chitauri army. Galactus, mate. Maybe. Nah, Maybe Galactus. they're setting up it's a Galactus. Galactus. It can't be Galactus. Uh, one they... question I had from mid credits though: Why was uh, Bruce Banner Bruce Banner and not the Hulk? It's a very good question, and I hope that gets addressed. I really I hope, hope that gets addressed, addressed because if it doesn't get addressed and it gets pushed under the carpet, it's going to really piss me off. So I better get addressed. Surely they will address it because that was a whole big thing in Endgame that that he was just the Hulk now. That was his yeah. whole thing. I mean, his arms still all fucked up. Yes. And um, the Russo said that that he's injury to his arm. That is it. He will never have that. Ar- that that arm is fucked. But I can't imagine they'll keep that. If they're going to keep him in the MCU, they're not going to have him walking around with a fucked up arm. I mean, they made Rhodey fucking disabled, and they allowed him to walk again. So true, they cured true, true. that. So they can't cure up. He burnt his arm to oblivion. I still think killing off Rhodey would have been such a good way to like really like up the stakes in Civil War. But anyway, whether that's another, that's, that's another, another yeah. story. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I liked I liked the mid credits. I and it had one of my favorite MCU characters, Wong. I fucking love Wong. Yeah, what a hero! Wong, Wong is sick. Wong is sick, and that's another thing as well. What's going on between Wong and Abomination? Yes. Yeah, they went off together. Yeah. yeah. What's all that about? Why is 
Abomination uh, not locked up anymore. Yeah. There's so many questions. So many questions. He's going to be in the She-Hulk series. Abomination is. And and Mark Ruffalo is also going to be in the She-Hulk series, right? Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay. Well, they they, they can't... I don't think they'll be able to explain why he's not the Hulk in She-Hulk because, firstly, She-Hulk is She-Hulk. I don't really want to go in on Bruce Banner. I want to focus on her. So yeah, but then again, I don't know when when else we're going to get introduced to Ruffalo again. He's not really lined up to be in anything else coming up, is he? No, and he can't do in a uh, Universal Pictures won't allow solo films. But uh, so yeah, it, it must get addressed. It surely will because that was a whole big thing about his character that the Hulk and him weren't happy together. Now they've combined together. So you know why why is he not him anymore? Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it's an odd thing. It'll surely get addressed. MCU, are, they're not like that. They wouldn't no. just do it for no reason. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Tim Roth was the abomination in that. He did provide vocals. So it's cool. he's back. He's back, cool. baby. It's wicked. That whole scene. Like, I, oh, mate, I'll tell you, I, honestly, I don't think I've watched such a well-paced movie in so long. Oops, sorry. I don't think I've watched a so, such a well-paced movie in so long. Just it very much quickly gets into it, doesn't yeah. it? Which I really it, it gave us the backstory thousand years ago. Yeah, he ten rings and he beats shit out of people. Then it's quickly show me Shang Chi, what he's up to. Okay, and then I've, the bus sequence. I was amazed where it was positioned in the film. It's in about the first fifteen minutes. Yeah, literally first fifteen minutes. Like so much shit happens in the first thirty minutes of this movie. Like. One moment you're, you know, you're getting the backstory. Then you're in San Francisco. Next moment they're in China in an underground fighting ring. I mean, like the whole thing is sick. It's such a good film. Like it is fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, really well done. I do hope they um, they do more of his films because I I like martial arts films. Everyone likes a good martial arts film. The the choreography was all was amazing. All the fight scenes look fantastic. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe they'll introduce the Iron Fist. Will he come back? I fucking hope not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more thing, actually. One more thing I want to speak to you about as well, which we we, uh, we didn't speak about. You know when... Um, I can't remember the exact name of it or whatever, but you know when they're obviously at the end when they go to the um, where his mum came from and blah, 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 blah. And then you've got, yep. the, you've got the wall and obviously you've got the creatures that are breaking through yep. the, from the dark dimension and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you telling me that you didn't think that dark thing was Mephisto because I genuinely no. thought that <laughs> Mephisto was coming at that point. <laughs> I was actually pretty convinced. I was like, Mephisto is coming, but never happened. <laughs> that would have been funny if they did finally bring in Mephisto. I mean, yeah. So that, well, they've introduced this now. Kind of, they were like they're in a different dimension. Well, yeah. the the village is not part of Earth. It's a different. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, I I was confused just when they said it. I wasn't overly sure what. The I, I, we had this conversation during Loki. I was like, "Get ready to be confused because there's going to be more of that shit coming up." I can tell you that for a fact. Yeah. Right? yeah.